So I'm going to assume that you've logged into Hub and we'll make a start by looking at the audio and video files that we've recorded as part of our evidence for moderation. And these will be stored in J2E. So in J2E, uh, we can go to My Files. This is where the files will all be stored. And here are three files uh, that I prepared earlier, uh, just for English uh, Level 3 moderation. Now, at the moment, these files are largely private. That means that they're stored here. Nobody else can reach them. So, in order for them to be shared with Office 365, they need to be made not private. And the way to do that is to share them. And we can use the I icon here. Click on that. It's going to drop down. And there's a share option there. I'm going to click on that. So, the window here gives me the option to share the file. At the moment you can see it's private, that means that even if anybody knew the web address that that file was held at, they would not be able to access it. The second option I've got uh, is to publish it, and if I simply publish it, it makes it public. That means anybody with this web address can reach that file, and that's normally fine as long as there's no personal or sensitive information there. Uh, the third option should I need it, is to create a password. If I click on the password icon, the option there, uh, I can set a password here, and what that would mean is when somebody followed the link which I've given them, they would be required to enter the password. So I can change the password here, and obviously I would need to then give them the password so they could access it. These files are anonymized, uh, and uh, there's no sensitive information in them, so I'm just going to publish them. So this particular one, I select Publish, I click on close and you can see now that there is a globe on the top left hand corner there that simply means that this file is publicly available and that's all I need to do to make it available to Office 365. So the next step is to open the Office 365 location which will contain the documents into which we are going to paste the links for these files. That will enable anybody looking at that document to click on the link and listen or view these recordings that we've made. Now the folder location in Office 365 is just an internet address and that will have been distributed via the Eru site or other means. I have taken that uh, internet address and I've copied it onto the clipboard. And All I'm going to do now in my browser is I'm going to open another tab and I'm going to paste the address of that Office 365 location into uh, the address bar or the search bar and I'm going to go there. If you have not been given access to this you will see a message on the screen that will say you need to request access and then there will be a request access button. You click on the button and a short time later you will be given access but that is a manual process and uh, may take uh, a little while to happen. So here we are, we're in Office 365. This is where the folders can be found for each cluster of schools. I'm going to open the Gowerton School cluster as an example. Within here is a folder for this year's moderation exercise. So I'm going to click on that title there to open it. And within this folder we can see the various areas for the different subjects. Uh, I'll click on the English one, to open that folder, and within here we can see lots of test documents, and we're going to create a test document ourselves to show how we can paste the links in to give access back to the evidence files that we created earlier. So to create a new document I'm going to click on New, and this is for English. So the English template will create a new document. And on this document we can see that we need to paste the links back to those video and audio files here where it says evidence hyperlinks. So let's go about doing that. We'll go back to the tab which is for the My Files uh, of J2E and you can see the files here. I'm just going to make this third file publicly available as well. 
publish that. So all three of these files are now published. I simply need to copy the link to each and paste it in the documents that I've just created in Office 365. So let's do them in order. There's English Level 3.1. Click on I, Share. You can see the link here. I'm going to highlight it. I'm going to use my keyboard to do a control C to copy that. Close that. Back to the tab to open the document. Click in the table and I'm going to do a control V to paste it. And enter to go down to the next line. It should automatically hyperlink. You can see it's uh, underlined and in blue. I can go then back to the Next document, back to My Files tab on J2E, English Level 3.2, click on the I button, Share, copy the address, Control C, back to the document, next line, uh, I can either paste it, so I'll do a Control V, Enter. And so on. The last document. My files. Control C. And the last one. Control V. Enter. There. So those three are now linked back. Uh, I can test them. If I take the last one, for example, control click to follow a link, so let's try that. Control click, and the player is there. And if I click on play, I don't know if you heard that, but uh, that was uh, clear enough from my, from my computer. Uh, and that's opened a new tab, so I'll just close that tab back to the document here. Now, when you're working online in this way, there's no need to save uh, the file as such. Uh, you can simply uh, click on the back tab here and if I scroll down here, there's document 14. That is the document I just set up. Now I need to rename that. There is a naming format. Uh, some people have used it here, I can see at the bottom. So this is, for example, Level 5, Science and the name of the school. So to rename it, I can right click on the document title, select Rename, highlight the title and it was uh, Level 3 hyphen English hyphen 